Welcome to the podcast, Lessons in Life, where we learn about the principles that govern our lives. And it's principle like gravity. It's best to know about them because you don't fight gravity, do you? No, you shouldn't fight the principles of your mind either. When you do that, you get karma. And that ain't no fun. Everybody knows that. So... Today, the patrons had requested, as you wish, but they didn't specify what I wished. <laughs> and they also requested um, about the mystics, and I've talked about a couple of them. Uh, most of the mystics, you know, are, are giving their point of view on these things. And you have to keep that in mind when you're reading them. And really, the Bible is your handbook. That's what Torah means. It means instructions on being. And it's the one that tells you everything, you know. And it's an inspired piece of work because it works for all at any time, any point in space. And this is why it's the story instead of all the other stories that have been about that faded away with time, like Odin and King Arthur and Zeus. And there's nothing wrong with those stories. They're, they're the same story. But what they don't tell you is that you're going to be broken. You know, you are. You're going to, something's going to break you. It's going to be impossible. It's, you know, you're begging and you're borrowing. You're, you're upset that what looked to be a good life has turned into shit and all this other stuff. And that's, that's the world of men. Okay. That's all. And you were born in the world of men. So there's no blame. There's no cause for it okay you just need to forgive and that takes that ugly out of your eye the problem begins when you think you're separate from others because you're not we all say the same i and we all say the same i am and when god looks at you he sees one one beautiful baby his baby. <laughs> That's you. Individually and as a whole. And most people don't understand that God is infinite wisdom, beauty, love, and grace. Is preferred above intelligence, and he's certainly infinite intelligence. I mean, he's the great designer. He's the great engineer. Look around you. You know, he designed that, he engineered it, he put it together. All of it. And he holds it all together. You know, with his, his love and his grace. And it's the essence. The essence of all things. That's God. He's the essence of you. And what the Bible tells us is, you're going to be broken. You're going to be broken. And it's like Hezekiah, you know, in the Bible. Fall to your knees and say, all glory to God. This is all God. He made men to look at his work and praise him for it. Not praise the work. Praise God for it. Men think they have to earn a living. Well, are you living? Yes, you are. You don't earn a living. You are living. Okay? 
it all comes to you because you are alive and you are living and for no other reason. Same with the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. You're no different. He can break you. He has to. It's like a wild horse. And he has to break it. So that he can ride it. Okay, because he works through you. And he will. He will deliver. His word is sure and true. That's law. Principle. And the Bible is full of his word. And as he states, you know, I am the word and the word came to life. Okay? You're alive. You're living. You speak the word, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do. So it's, it's going to break you. Because you're vain. You think you're a man and you're not. You think you got to do something. You think you can do it. You think it's you doing. You don't do anything. You're nothing. It's God. So man has to be broken. So he can be reborn. So he can be redeemed. Okay. And if you've been getting everything but one thing. And that's why you can break, gonna break you. That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna break you, and then you're gonna turn to him and say, "I don't care. I don't care if they take everything. I don't care if he leaves. I don't care at all about anything." Except one thing, my heart, no one can touch me there, okay? As long as I have my heart, the one in my heart, and I'm alive, as long as I have God, the rest just doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. You know, and the Bible tells us this. It break your bones. It's going to break you. It's going to break it. Because he has to. So, Because you won't get on your knees and say, all oh, glory to God. No. Praise God. God is all. The time for the Jubilee is fast approaching. And Jubilee is celebration. Time for a celebration. Where those who were enslaved are freed. And those who did the enslaving deliberately get enslaved. That's how it works. Recently, Carlson Tucker made the observation that, you know, all the, the evil thinking in the world is in our authorities, in our governments. That the people are wonderful. You know, most of the people are just wonderful people. But it's the authority figures that are the shitheads. And the Bible tells us this. Now it's going to turn them this way and that way like the ocean. You know, it's a constant wave. It's pounding it. He's pounding it. He's pounding it. And they're either going to come to God or not. That's up to them. All right? But the fact of the matter is, if you've had it good all your life, and you think the worst thing in the world is somebody didn't use you, the pronouns you preferred to refer to you, if that's all it takes to break you, baby, you're lucky. Okay? Because that's, that's pretty shallow. Yeah. A lot of us have dealt with a lot more. Like the prideful man who attacked the Chick fil A cashier while she just was gracious, while he told her what a shithead of a company she worked for and how the boss there just was a shithead. And he was so proud of himself, he posted it on the internet, lost his job. His wife and children, you know, they stuck with him. 
It broke him. He was humbled. He's doing all right now, but he's a changed man for it. He was humbled. All glory to God. And now he lives as a good man. So it's understanding that God doesn't make mistakes. He's doing a good work in everybody. We're inside his mind. You don't think he can let shit hang out in his mind, do you? No. Each one of us is an idea, a thought, or a belief inside the mind of God. Who gets to stay? Who has to go? Okay, God is cleaning up his mind. Some people like to say it. God wants to experience life through us. No. God is life. He wants to express it and hear the glory that man sees and hears. He wants to hear man praising him and glorifying him. Look at what the Lord has done. Not just for me. For everyone, for the world, for the universe. Look what he has done. All glory to God. So, you know, these are the things that the Bible tells us, not the mystics. Most of the mystics want to get into the details. And the devil's in the detail, you know. Go do this technique, go and you'll get what you Yeah, you're back dooring, mom. That ain't cool. Of course, that's my two cent. Bible says it will break you. And then you are reborn, you are redeemed, you are restored, you're made anew. You, now you're the new man. The man who walks with God. So you've been feeling broken, feeling like there's just nothing you can do and the world's out to get you. And oh, glory to God. It's going to break you. Give thanks that he's there for you because that's all you have. They can take all your shit away. It doesn't matter. They can all leave. It doesn't matter. You go to bed in the knowledge that all that matters is God is with you, okay? And that he loves you and sees you and has not turned away from you, okay? He's there with you. And you'll feel a peace come over you when you surrender like that. You know, doing techniques and stuff is practicing that. Eventually, you have to give up the man mask. It's not real. Okay? And you're going to be broken to do that. But rest assured, it just means happy days are here again. So I hope this helps. Blessings to you. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you for being you.